Muscle. Let's see your muscles. Muscle. Muscle. Muscles. Muscle. My, 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 how times have changed. Former Full House stars Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen all grown up. The Olsen twins, now the forces behind the fashion lines in a row, and Elizabeth and James were honored last night with the Women's Wear Designer of the Year Award at the CFDA Awards in New York City. And you know, Probably. I'm happy for them and all of that, but they're still the only holdouts that have yet to join right? the Full House reboot, Fuller House on Netflix. Come on, ladies. Good news, though, the show's creator, Jeff Franklin, is going to be back at the helm, and now he's looking to unload his real-life Full House to the highest bidder. We go inside the mansion that the Tanners built. Was this house built with the money that you made from Full House? No, actually it was built from the money that I borrowed because somebody thought that because of Full House I could pay it back. <laughs> now this could be your Full House for the price of just $38 million. Creator of the 80s and 90s sitcom originally built the 10,000 square foot mansion for entertaining. And the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and the agency's Mauricio Umansky says that's its biggest selling point. One of my favorite features of this house is this indoor-outdoor flow and the way that you know it was designed to kind of entertain. Yeah, absolutely. It's an amazing view out here, and you want to be able to en enjoy it. The mansion, located in the Hollywood Hills just above the Sunset Strip, includes five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a wine cellar, movie theater, and an Infinity Edge pool. Jeff has enjoyed these views for 20 years, almost as long as Full House has been on the air. Now as Fuller House gears up, he's looking forward to teaming up with the Tanners again. It's so exciting and so rewarding that this show has survived all these years and the audience has grown and people still love the characters. And so I can't wait to catch up with them and see what they're doing now. 